this is how the Altoida test looks like. You start by doing a start a motor test. You select your dominant hand, then you just follow the instructions. I'm being measured continuously. So everything that I do here, the way that I hold my iPad, the force that I'm putting at completing the task and my errors are being documented. Am I inside the cycle? Am I outside the cycle? Also here, the mark that you see is where I tap. Do I tap at the center of the cycle and how strongly is being measured? That's the most difficult of the tests. And you can also measure the way that I hold the device. Am I trimming or holding it steady? Once this is done, I need to stand up and I need to do the augmented reality test. So this is the instructions. I need to place three items in real space and then find them back. Quite simple. I will put one here. Start. I now need to work a bit at the clinical office. I will put the second one there. And of course, I need to remember which item I put where. And I will put the last one here, near the telephone. So, hopefully I do remember. <laughs> and now I'm being asked to find them back as fast as possible while listening to a sound. So I'm going to be asked to tap whenever I, s I hear uh, a sound Find the deeper first. So I think it was there. Yes. Then find the heart. Yes. Then find the star, the final one. I need to resemble the angle as well, but I will try to do it here with a little bit of cheating. <laughs> That's it. Test complete. It took less than three minutes. It downloads the results immediately to a secure cloud at our offices. And then we are ready to examine the next patient. Thank mm -hmm. you.